Today our lesson is going to be on the adaptations of aquatic animals. We will be looking at dolphins, sea turtles, orca whales, and sea lions. In the ocean, there are many different types of animals, and they all have different ways of adapting to their environment. We will be taking a look at how dolphins, sea turtles, orca whales, and sea lions adapt to their environment in the ocean. Our first animal is the dolphin. The dolphin's biological classification is Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Cetacea, Suborder, Odontidae, Family, Dolphin Day, Genus, Delphinus, Species, Delphus. The body structure of the dolphin is very streamlined. This helps them sift through the water and swim easier. Also, contributing to this is their strong flippers and tail. Dolphins also have a smooth skin that is hairless, thick, and lacks glands. They keep heat in their bodies by a thick layer of blubber underneath their skin. Our next slide has to do with dolphin senses. Dolphins have fairly good eyesight, but rely mainly on their hearing. They use a process called echolocation. Echolocation is when marine mammals produce sounds when they are reflected back and then strike an object. Next is the feeding habits of dolphins. Dolphins are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Their diet consists of squid, octopus, and cuttlefish. They have one set of teeth for life, which consists of four teeth at birth, growing to 252 teeth when they reach adulthood. Our next animal is the sea turtle. One thing that many people notice about sea turtles is that they look like they are sad or crying, right? Well, why is this? Sea turtles have a salt gland that rids their body of excess salt. The gland empties through their eye, which makes them look like they are crying. This helps female sea turtles keep sand from getting inside their eye when they are digging their nest in the sand. Next is the structure of the sea turtle. Sea turtles are strong swimmers. They have paddle-like flippers to help propel them through the water. They also have a protective shell that they can retract inside of to hide from predators. Sea turtles can dive more than 1,000 feet. They also have a slow metabolic rate, which allows them to stay submerged for longer periods of time. Sea turtles have no need for a freshwater source and can survive mainly in salt water. Many adaptations that make sea turtles successful in the sea make them slow and vulnerable on land. For example, they can't outrun a predator on land. Their flippers are made for swimming, not walking on land. The next animal we will be looking at is the orca whale, also known as the killer whale. Their average length is 18 to 32 feet and their average weight is 2.6 to 9 tons and they can travel up to 34 miles per hour. Hmm. Habitat. The orca whale lives in all oceans of the world. They are commonly seen in Vancouver Island, off Antarctica, Norway, Iceland, and occasionally in other areas. Some threats to the killer whale are being captured for public display. One example would be an aquarium. Also, orca whales are hunted for their blubber and oil. It is now against the law to hunt killer whales, but sadly it is still done. Pollution is also a threat. Orca whales have a varied diet. They can eat squid, birds, fish, sea turtles, seals, dolphins, and even blue whales. Orca whales are very social animals. They stay in long-term social groups called pods for life. 
These pods can range anywhere from 3 to 25 whales. Our last animal is the sea lion. They come from the family Orteridae and they are classified as a marine mammal. The body structure of a sea lion is rather interesting. They can walk and run using their front and back flippers. They also have a sea lion shape, just like the dolphin, that allows them to swim smoothly through the water. Sea lions have external ear flaps that allow them to hear well. The average temperature of a sea lion is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. They also have a thick layer of blubber that allows them to store heat inside their bodies. Next is the habitat food source of the sea lion. They inhabit the cooler waters of the North Pacific, and their diet consists of a variety of fish, octopus, and squid. All these aquatic animals have many characteristics, some the same and some different, that allow them to adapt and live in their environments. The end.